Hi, I'm Jen King, the tech lead on the Drive Android API, and today I'm going to show you how to add Drive integration to your Android app. This API is a part of Google Play services, which means that you can add a small amount of code to your app and get the benefits of these API features on nearly every Android device running Gingerbread or higher. There are a lot of reasons that Google Drive integration is great for users. Their files get automatically backed up to the cloud, are accessible on multiple devices, including the web, and can be viewed and edited on mobile devices and the web using Drive-enabled apps, even when offline. So let's get started. I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate an app with Drive using our Receipt Collector Sample app. This app allows users to take pictures of their receipts and store them in Drive to manage their spending. In order to use the Drive Android API, you first need to register your app as a Drive app by creating an entry in the Developer Console. The console asks you to specify the package name of your app and the fingerprint of your signing certificate so that the Drive API can authenticate your app. Creating a project ID on the Dev Console allows you to build versions of your app across Android, iOS, and the web and share a single project configuration for all of them. Once your project is registered, you can start using the Drive Android API by including the Google Play Services APIs in your application. Before integrating with Drive, our app just saves the receipts to the local file system on the device, which means they aren't easily accessible on other devices. If I lose or break my device, the data might get lost with it. However, it's easy to back up these receipts to Drive using the Drive Android API. To do this, we'll create a new file with the image bytes using the Drive API, which will sync the data up to the server. We need to write the, con the receipt in image to a contents object and create a new Drive file using this contents. For now, we'll just add all the receipts to the user's root folder, also called My Drive. To save the new file, we call Create File on the folder where we want to insert the file and pass in the contents object containing the data. The Create File call will return the Drive ID of the new file. Receipts will now get automatically uploaded to the user's drive, allowing users to view and organize them in the Drive web UI. Next, we need to change our receipt list to request the list of receipt files from the Drive API instead of the local file system. To do this, we'll query for all files in the user's My Drive folder that are accessible by the Receipts app. This query uses the local Drive database rather than the server, so it will still work while offline. The Drive Android API will automatically sync metadata for files created from other devices. We'll change our receipt list view to use data from the Drive API by changing the adapter in our list view to use the metadata buffer object returned by the query method. We use the title field to generate an entry for each file in the list. Last, we need to display the receipt image and description when users open it from the list. To display the receipt image, get the drive file for the receipt using driveapi.getfile and open the contents using drivefile.openContents. If the file content is already available on the device, the open file method will return immediately. And if not, the Drive Android API will fetch the content from the server for you. Now, the app functions just as it did before with the added benefit that users can open all of their receipts on any Android device as well as on the web. There are three more cool features that can help us to make the user experience better. Pinning files, the file picker UI, and app folders. First, you can allow your users to save receipts for offline use or pin the files using the set pinned API. This API will ensure that the file content is on the device and will keep it up to date. To surface this feature to users, we'll add a pin button to our view receipt UI, which allows the user to choose to keep the file on the device. Second, we're currently saving all receipts to the user's My Drive folder, but what if they want to be a little more organized? We can allow users to choose which folder to use for saving the receipts by launching the Drive File Picker. Once the user selects a folder, we save this preference to the device, and every time we create a new receipt, we create it in the selected folder. Last. It would be a lot better if this preference were consistent between multiple devices. We could store our preferences in a file and drive, just like we do with receipts, but it would be better if we didn't clutter the user's drive with preference files. Here's where our last feature comes in. App folders are a special type of folder where you can store files that only your app can see and manage. This folder still uses the user storage quota, and they can clear all of the folder contents if they want to stop using your app, but the files won't ever get in their way. So let's recap what we've achieved. We took an app that stored all of its content on the local device and added automatic backups, cross-device file syncing, offline support, and synced app configuration. You can add these features to your app, too. So get started with the Drive Android API at developers.google.com slash drive slash Android. I'm Jen King, and I can't wait to see what you come up with using the Drive Android API.